Hey, Carlton. Is everything okay? No. I let someone borrow my book at school today, and when they gave it back, a bunch of the pages were ripped. Oh, no. I'm so sorry to hear that. What did you do when it happened? I told them that I would break something of theirs, too. Then the teacher told us both to stop, but that just made me even more upset. Oh, wow. I'm sure that was really frustrating. Do you want to try a breathing exercise to maybe help you calm down? No, it's not going to help. I just know it. That's okay. What works for me or even yourself sometimes won't always help, and that's completely all right. But it, it's just so unfair. I did nothing wrong. I bet it does feel really unfair. Being punished for something when you don't feel like you did anything wrong or being grouped in with other people that did can be so annoying. I know that you're upset right now, and you have every right to be. That's weird. I thought you'd get upset at me for being too angry. Not at all. Getting mad is a normal emotion that everyone feels at some point. That's not something to be upset at you for. At all. What really matters is how we react when we feel that way. But when I'm really angry or upset, it can be hard to control how I react or even what I say in the moment. That makes sense. Many other people deal with the same thing. Calming yourself down for your sake and for the sake of other people doesn't have to be complicated or really take a lot of steps. There are little and simple things that you can do to maybe help yourself feel better. Really? Like what? Well, you can try walking around wherever you are so that you can focus on moving your body in a harmless way. But what if I'm at school? I can't just leave the classroom. And at home, sometimes I can't always go outside. Well, there are other things that you can do too. You can try counting to 10. Focusing on the numbers as you're saying them can help to take your mind off of what's making you so angry. If you're still really upset by the time you get to 10, then you can keep counting as long as you need until you've calmed down just a bit. That could work. Do you have any more? Sure. You can also try drawing or writing out how you feel. Carrying a small notebook or journal around with you for things like this can really be helpful and lead you to making it a practice for yourself. That's a really good idea. I might try that. Maya, thanks a lot for telling me these. Of course. How are you feeling right now? Okay, I guess. Less upset than before. I guess talking it out helped a bit too. That's awesome. Another thing that can help you to deal with your emotions is talking it through with someone. You of course have to be mindful about what you say though, because sometimes when we're upset, it can be easier for us to say things that we don't mean or that hurt the people around us. That's true. I feel bad about saying that I'd break something of my classmates. Maybe I can try saying sorry to them tomorrow. That would be a really good idea. Make sure that you hear them say sorry though too, because they were still in the wrong for messing up something of yours. If it helps, you can have a teacher there with you to help you maybe work things out and you can explain what happened. Okay, I'll try to do that tomorrow. Thanks again, Maya. No problem. I'm happy to help.